Life is very short And there's no time Of fussing and fighting My name is Wendy Moten, born and raised in Memphis, Tennessee, but I've been living in Nashville, Tennessee for over 25 years. Oh, wow. Amazing. Ew. I've had 35 years in the music industry. I was Julio Iglesias' duet partner. Wow. I recorded duets with Michael McDonald, Vince Gill, John Oates. It goes on and on. What a privilege for them to have shared the stage with you. <laughs> you are that is top three blind audition for The Voice all time. Wendy, who do you pick as your coach that's not Blake Show? Oh my gosh. I gotta go with Blake. Yes! Manny and Wendy are gonna be singing If I Ever Lose My Faith in You by Sting. I chose this song for Manny and Wendy because I feel like vocally it's gonna give them a chance to show off their strengths. Just find a way to like take this song and internalize it. You can't just go from your ear to your mouth, it has to go from your ear, go through your heart. To You've really been broken once or twice, and then come out your mouth. Swing for the fence, and, and hopefully nobody's going home here, right? Yes. Look out for number one, don't step in number two. Wendy, you are the words. You are the message. I've done quite a few singing competitions all over the world. Navigated them. I've navigated them. This Hi. is literally one of the best things I've ever heard, ever. Thank you. If you don't make the finale, something's wrong in the world, is what I'm saying. Two great singers. Who is the winner of this battle? Winner of this battle. This is like my two powerhouse vocalist Jonathan is actually someone I just stole and then Wendy's been on my team since the beginning. Wendy, so you're doing Aretha Franklin. Aretha's my core. Ain't No Way is a song I'm singing. I remember listening to Aretha Franklin. At eight years old, I didn't understand the words, but I understood the feeling that was coming from her. She stopped me in my tracks. I feel like you should be in our seats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still growing. No, you're fully, fully grown. Wow. I'm literally gonna see which one can blow the roof off of this place higher than the other one. I love those little moments in your mixed voice, yes. the little mm -hmm. subtleties. When you're able to pull that off and give us those amazing big notes, it's just a tour de force. Blake, the time has come. Who is the winner of this knockout? Uh, man, you made this tough for me, but the winner of the knockout is Wendy. This is the tough part of the knockouts. Jonathan. He blew me away. The only problem with that is Wendy blew the building away. 
You got the contemporaries of the day saying that you still got it. It keeps me going. seasons now and there is nobody that I want this more for ever than you. You deserve this. Wendy Mountain Team Blake Top 13 baby. I'm going back someday. Come with me to blue vine. Where those fishing boats with the sails of love. just did there had so much finesse and oh my goodness gracious if your dream is to win the voice just keep reaching for a couple of more weeks here i think this is possible sis i'm so excited for you i'm so happy that you guys voted for me and i'm so happy that you feel like what i have to give you want to hear top 11 team play into a new artist role with icon status already. It's never happened before. It's like you're performing like a legend. such a classic country song and the fact that you honored the original and let the story be what it is incredible job and by the way I've never seen a better example of strength and perseverance mm. and fearlessness standing on this stage we got to go to the finale Wendy come on America saved me again even under these circumstances I'm amazed I'm still in the game I'm amazed that they still believe in me and I'm ready to keep going all the way
you're sitting up there on a stool like Kenny Rogers and blowing the roof off. Sitting! Like Wendy, that wasn't just finale worthy. That was literally like music history just happened on the stage. Like that's, wow. that's historical. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like I don't even know what to say. I'm telling you, I didn't know I could make it this far. I didn't know whether to hug Blake or kiss him. I didn't know what to do. He was like, now we're no longer joking. It actually happened.